Russ Bradley is a biologist on the Fairlawn Islands. Most of the time that I've spent out there is in the spring and the summer in the seabird breeding season, where I work about six weeks at our time and then get a couple weeks off. We have over 40 different studies that we're working on with the seabirds that take us, you know, from day into the night. We look at things like how animals survive, how they reproduce, uh, what they eat, and how that changes through time, and what all that information can tell us about changes that are happening in the ocean. Some of his most important work focuses on the Brant's cormorants that live on the islands. Brant's cormorants are a, a diving seabird. They're uh, distributed from Mexico all the way up to Canada, but the biggest single colony of Brant's cormorants in the world is on the Fairlawns, which has been as its highest about 20,000 birds. Russ has been working on the Fairlawns for 10 years, and the past four have not been kind to these unique seabirds. In 2010, we saw a slight increase in the breeding success, but basically for the last four years, we've seen very poor breeding performance for Brant's cormorants, and, and we've never really seen that in a series of years like this before. We think that this you know, may be an example of some real changes that are occurring in the local marine ecosystem, and that there may be climate impacts that are causing shifts in the prey, the fish that, that the cormorants uh, have been so successful on. This has Russ and other biologists very concerned, not only for these birds, but for other nearby populations. They seem to be a very uh, unique indicator species of changes that are going on in the ocean. Uh, we've been studying Brant's cormorants on the Fairlawn Islands for over 40 years. And we've seen in the last few years, the cormorants really seem to have a hard time reproducing their chicks, and it seems to be related to their food. And it appears that Brant's cormorants are telling us about big changes that are going on with the so-called forage fish populations, the schooling fishes like anchovy, that um, we care about for lots of different reasons. So they're an important indicator of many different things.